welcome to my studio. I thought I'd give you a behind the scenes glimpse as to what, how, what my process is and um, some, of the, some of the tools I use. Um, I am an acrylic painter for the most part. I work almost exclusively in, in, in acrylic and I prefer golden uh, acrylic paints right now. Um, I do work with others as well. I'm not that picky, but I do lean towards the golden. I work on a Stay Wet palette, which is, um, you know, it's a, it's a brand name, but you could probably jerry-rig something else up, but it has a sort of a, um, a coated uh, paper that you put over a, a sponge and it keeps the, the paints wet over the course of time. I may, it may take me weeks to finish a painting. And so it's very handy so that I don't have to start a new palette every time. Uh, it also has a lid that seals it all in and keeps it nice and, and damp. Um, so this is the painting I'm working on right now. It is 12 by, I'm sorry, it's 24 by 36. So it's kind of a large size. I started this one with a gray ground. Um, and then I transferred the drawing that I had made, which I don't have here for you right now to see. Um, but I, I draw it out on a grid pattern and, um, and then I transferred onto here. First thing after that I did was to put in the background, which is, um, a, uh, a coat of raw umber covered by, uh, with a second coat of, um, phthalo green on it. So it, it, you get this nice sort of intense blue green, um, effect. Then I added a, I went through and I identified the areas that were going to be blossoms. I, as you can see, I have one, two, three, four, five of them done already. Um, but I still have quite a few to do. I'm going to be working on this one right now. Um, and I identified the flower petals with this lighter color and then um, the foliage and the stems in, in this lime green. Um, and then what I did was I superimposed, again, my original reference, which was the grid. And I just do this with chalk. And then on the uh, areas that would be easier to see, I use a charcoal pencil or a um, maybe a pastel pencil, whatever, whatever's going to work best. But this is very effective. I can just wipe it right off when I'm done, the, the chalk is. Um, so I think that's about it. I am going to, as again, oh, I know, I have my, my reference here. Since I am going to be working on this painting, uh, or this one blossom here, I printed off, uh, like a, a full size, um, little reference, reference photo. And I'm just going to tape that right onto the, the canvas itself. And I'll use that, um, to paint from for, to get all the modeling and the colors. So now I'm gonna turn this over into a uh, time lapse. And so you're gonna see uh, a day's worth of painting um, in just a few minutes. So sit back, enjoy.
So that's it for today. I'm not 100% happy with it, but um, I think I want to let it sit and think about it and come back to it tomorrow. So thanks for watching and uh, let me know if you have any questions.